hello friends in this short video we shall be discussing about a case which had two concomitant retinal pathologies the patient was a 24 years old myopic lady who had decreased vision in her left eye for last one month the left eye vision was only counting fingers and this is how the left eye looked the fundus was myopic and there was a greenish choroidal neovascularization at the center of the fovea and if you look closely then we'll see that there is inferior subretinal fluid and probably superior retina was also detached. Optical coherence tomography or OCT was performed. The upper scan shows SRF near the inferior arcade. The middle one shows choroidal neovascular membrane at fovea and the lower image shows subretinal fluid even at the superior arcade. A fluorescent angiography was performed for this patient and it showed early hyperfluorescence and late leakage suggestive of choroidal neovascularization at fovea. And if you look at the images closely, then we can see choroidal neovascularization at the fovea shown here with the blank yellow arrow. And the edges of the subretinal fluid are also seen on the image on the right, marked by the yellow triangles. So we had to manage both the retinal attachment and the choroidal neovascularization simultaneously. Routine vitrectomy with silicon oil injection was performed and intravitreal ranibizumab injection was given for choroidal neovascularization. This is how it looked preoperatively and the postoperatively. The postoperative OCT image shows that the CNVM has healed with single injection and the retina has got attached very well. And the color fundus photograph also shows scarred CNVM. So what is important in this case is that the timing of intravitreal ranibizumab injection is vital. If we give intravitreal anti-VEGF injection while doing vitrectomy or at the end of the surgery after siliconal injection, then it's not going to work properly. So we have to give injection at the time that it doesn't get washed out with the infusion line and also silicon oil doesn't cause any barrier effect. So intravitreal anti-VEGF injection has to be given after fluid gas exchange but before silicon oil injection. This is the key thing about this case. If you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.